Tonight, shedding light on a shocking crime. People using everyday items to steal electricity. Not only is it dangerous, but it's costing you millions of dollars. Only our Joe Holden was there as Pico officials combed through one neighborhood searching for power stealers. We'll use anything they can. To the average person, they're startling finds. These are two screws. Two screws, a little piece of tin. Powering the whole house. Powering the whole house. When you see something like that, what goes through your mind? Fire. People hot wiring electrical connections, stealing electricity, Pico officials say, any way they can. And you're paying for it. There you go, coat hangers in there. They can so, use anything that conducts electricity. We see beer cans crushed. Come on. Beer cans, soda cans. We're in Chester. Pico is sweeping the area. We see a lot of crazy stuff. We believe there's jumpers in there. It's a so-called hot zone for power theft. We are looking at 125 different homes today um, as part of this effort. You just saw Pico workers forced back. Their work is dangerous. Security details are present and police are close by. It's all part of the job. They're going to hook it up. It's going to be sparking the whole time. Since there's no cover on here, no meter, once they hook that up, this is hot. If the kid comes in his yard, touches it, they're going to get electrocuted. Some homes so poorly wired, they are in danger of burning down. That is all energized right it's now. All energized. That's energized. That's 240 volts. In some cases, it's just a matter of time. Each year, we investigate around 21,000 potential instances of theft. Power was just cut to this home. <laughs> the woman there wanted nothing to do with us. It all adds up. The costs soar into the millions of dollars, according to Pico spokesman Ben Armstrong, going as high as 3.6 million. That's a significant impact, um, not only because it's unsafe, it's illegal, and it has financial implications. As you can see, these wires started to melt. Hot wiring the grid. Workers call it a big time hazard. The penalty for theft? Pico evaluates going to court to recover costs on a case by case basis. We'll do everything we can to remove these unsafe situations and to remove this theft from our service territory. Crews will continue their work. They expect to look at upwards of 125 properties, of which they tell me some 30% are believed to be stealing electricity. Reporting in Chester, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.